let's just talk about people versus OJ right now. We just have to talk about that. You, who are your, the people that you were mostly in scenes with? I mean, David Schwimmer, like, let's talk, like, t take us through. John Travolta, Sarah Fawcett, I mean, Cuba Gooding Jr., and my favorite producer and executive producer, Shiny Boots, Anthony, and Ryan Murphy. Now, what is the audition process like? Did they, did you go in once and they're like, oh yeah, that's her? Or did you really have to work for it? Um, we, I mean, I had a callback and, actually no, I didn't. I only auditioned and I booked the job. They called me direct to books me, so that was super exciting. And I, I started filming and there were like early call times, late call times. Sometimes we'd have two months in between and they'll call us back. We could be in the middle of vacation or in Paris, but if you're, if Ryan Murphy calls do you better be back on the plate. <laughs> Ryan Murphy is known to use a lot of the same people a lot. Is this your first time working with him? I mean, I yes it was, but yes it was, but it was my it's like the biggest thing I've done so far and it's my like favorite thing I've done so far and I've loved it. So who like you don't have to say like your all time favorite, but like being on this set, like who did you bond with the most? Like Hank Gooding Jr. and my dad. <laughs> yeah. Because he has a daughter the same age as me. Did she come to set and you guys? No, know? she um, she wasn't on set. It was really, really private set. Really? So like there was security everywhere, like cops and everything. It was yeah, it was because it, this was such a big story in like 1994. But I mean, <laughs> it was just crazy because I wasn't even born yet. So yeah. I had to learn all the things and who OJ was. I didn't even know who OJ was. She didn't even know. So, like, working on this, did your parents, like, kind of keep the details of everything pretty? My dad had a book uh, about it because it was definitely a very hectic time for people in that are black, and I, I didn't, I don't even know who to believe when I was reading all these stories, and now I know that it's just there was never a straight answer, so we really don't know if he did it or didn't. Right. Do, is, it, is, this, is this your first time playing a real person? Yes, I mean, I played uh, Lexi in Sister Code, okay. but that was a character that wasn't real. <laughs> So to play the real uh, the real person of the daughter, did you like? How did you prepare for that? Were you able to talk to her at all? Or no, okay. there was no talking. It was very it was a very hard time for her. All I knew is that she was going through a very hard time. Struggle. She's eight years old, eight yeah. or nine. How old are you? Ten. Okay. And she is going through the toughest moment. Her mom died. Her dad's in prison. She only has her legal guardian, her grandmother, and all the people that are in OJ's family. And that it's just really crazy. <laughs> now, did you? watch the show like from start to finish have you seen every episode every episode so your your parents are cool they're not like we're gonna block all the gruesome details like they're letting you see yeah it. my my parents are awesome do you have an easy like I watched some of the scenes and my stomach was like oh my gosh like get some gruesome scenes in that show yes you are definitely correct are you now this show's kind of become a cult hit are you getting recognized a lot because of it yes of course I'm still getting recognized for my own show Raising Asia yes. but and what show what network is that on on Lifetime and Lifetime Time. I you play the main girl. Yes, it's my TV show. But I, I didn't want to do reality anymore. I was on. I did five years with Lifetime, and I was just really over. It's a reality it. show. Yeah. What? Did, how did you even get a reality yeah. show? I was on Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition and Dance Moms, and then I had my own. Show. You were in Dance Moms. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> you were incredible. I didn't want to be on reality anymore. I was did it for four years. It was really tough and hard because you never know your call time or anything. So I would, I just didn't want to do it anymore. It didn't feel right. So I wanted to go to scripted. It's not hard, but for me, it was much easier than doing reality. So I rather take something really hard and a challenge than something that's easy and something that I don't want to do. So were you on Dance Moms with Maddie Ziegler? Yes. So you girls are like coming up in your own now <laughs> she's doing a lot you have your own show coming out what do you think is like the most exciting part about all of this I mean, I, I've been doing this since I was two years old. I have a very supportive family. My family is very supporting, and I love that they are. They never push me to do anything I don't want to do. So they're just super supportive, and I have so many loyal fans on my Instagram and my Facebook. How many followers do you have a lot? 1.1 million. Good God. <laughs> but I'm learning. 
Okay, guys, we got 1.1 million. That is so crazy. It's hopefully 1.2 soon, but I have such so many loyal fans, and I love that so much. 1.1 million. So you're posting like all the time. Yes. <laughs> well, it's so nice to meet you. I bet so many 1.1 million people are going to be so jealous I got to interview you. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah.